Hey there everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Borderlands 2. Now you might be wondering, why am I down here in, you know, what is said Control Core Angel? It was a slight glitch while I was recording. It was very weird. And I don't know why it happened. But it only happened, and I only noticed it, after I was done with the boss fight above. Which is the bunker, which I now can't get back to right now. So what I'm gonna do is, post recording, I'm going to add on the actual boss fight itself show you guys what it looks like and then we'll just have to continue on from there unfortunately all you guys really missed out on was jack threatening to um what do you say it was he said he was and i quote rip out the lungs of every soul in sanctuary and show it to them in front of them so that was a fun thing to hear but yeah so now we're here. The key is here, but to truly stop Jack from waking the warrior, you cannot just steal the vault key. You must destroy his catalyst. You must destroy him. Angel. Oh, there's no byline for hers. Jack spent years pumping me full of iridium using me to charge his key and manipulate his enemies destroying the iridium injectors that keep me alive will stop the key from charging and it will end a lifetime of servitude a shame we have to kill her Yeah, of course it's never going to be this easy. Well, someone's a little mad. Alright, well, here we go. Start by getting rid of these ion loaders. Ow. Alright, so to progress this boss fight, well, mini boss fight, you gotta destroy these shock field generators. Bollocks. Try these guys too while well, you're at it. She has probably some of the coolest boss fight music though, I'll give her that. Come on, come on. There we go. Uh oh. Hey, it's our buddy Roland. Grab all this ammo before more bots come in. Oh, never mind, they're already in. Alright, you stop that. So, you definitely want to get rid of those turrets first, because if you don't, it's gonna hurt. And the next things up are the angelic guards. They, they pack a punch. 
But the good news is this boss fight is honestly not that hard. Well, I say it's a boss fight. It's not really a boss fight. It's just surviving different rounds. It's just tedious because you do this right after you fight the bunker, which is an actual boss fight. these guys at this here those guys all right here we go there's one down two to go all right roll in let's see what you got Lilith, no, what are you doing here? Oh, great. Boom. Here 
off that arm. Break off that arm, please. Sorry, Jack, but uh, she's gonna die. I trust her more than I trust you, and if she asks me to kill her, then I do what I gotta do. Ow, 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 fire, fire, fire. Perfect line. What kind of person would do this to their own daughter? The kind of guy that deserves to die. Alright. Let's chit chat. We got the vault key though. She's dead. Jack just lost his only way to awaken the warrior. We got the vault key, but this isn't over yet. We gotta find Jack and take him out. Lily, take the vault key to Tannis. I'm going after Jack. Ooh. Roman! Shot to the chest. You Sub. I'm gonna... Language. What's that saying? Don't pick a fight with a man with nothing left to lose. See, I'm gonna show you just how much you have to lose, and I got the most powerful siren on the planet to do it with. Lilith, kill the Vault Hunter. We've got a date to keep with the warrior. Do it, Lilith. No! Oh, she just... What the hell just happened? ...ported us out of here? All right, so where are we? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a one-time secret room that you can only access right after this, so if you guys wanna snatch everything, be my guest. Let's see, ooh. Corrosive cloud grenade, that sounds like fun. Hmm. Uh, what do I grab for this? Or what do I drop for this, I should say? Uh. The go now melee shield. I don't really need that. Corrosive cloud? Gracias. Ooh, corrosive sniper. The dandy Jericho. Is that better than the one I got? More damage. Mm, one less magazine size. More corrosive damage, though. Hmm. I'll take it. Sorry, buddy. More ammo, more money, more money. Yeah, this is a one-time place. Once you're... Once you've gone through here, you can't come back, so you better make sure you pick up every little thing you want. Cuz look where we are. We're already back in sanctuary. Where could we have been? Back here. The, how the hell did you get back there? Oh, friggin' vault hunters. Son of a bitch. Rub me blind. Oh, we are in his vault. So, that's the end of this episode, okay? ladies and gents. Did I get you to sanctuary? Oh, I feel wrong. This device Jack's using on me. So we're going to go turn in this mission. Now, as I said before, you know, the episode kind of got spliced in a weird way thanks to the recording glitch. 
So I'm gonna cut the episode here. All right, just turn that in. Son of a bitch. Yep, we lost Roland, unfortunately. All hunter. All we got left. Jack killed Roland. He killed Bloodwing, but he is not gonna kill Lilith. Jack still needs time to chart the ball key. You just need to find out where this warrior is buried. There's only one place on Pandora that have that kind of info. The Hyperion Info Stockade. Get there. Get there. Yeah. But yeah, either way, the episode kind of goofed up due to the hey, editing glitch. Them? So what I'm going to do now. People of Pandora, my daughter is dead. <gasps> Murdered by the Vault Hunter. <gasps> So I've decided I'm rescinding the bounty on the Vault Hunter. If you should kill that child murdering son of a bitch before I do, I will find you. And you will regret denying me my vengeance. Mm hmm. So you could tell he's pretty mad now. But his daughter didn't like him anyway, so I don't care. She liked us more. So here's my plan. I'm gonna go back, cause you know, of course, you know, Borderlands logic, bosses are refightable. You know, you can just come back, fight them again and again and again. Uh, I wanna get the backpack upgrade. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to go ahead and refight the bunker. I'm gonna use that at the end of this episode so you guys can see what the bunker fight normally looks like. Unfortunately, you know, you get to miss the auto cannon thing. Thank God, because that was just a nightmare. But honestly, there's not much to do there. Like, this is dull. oh, these guys. So you remember the the Justin McCready thing? Yeah, this is the other half of it. It gives you another one called the uh, Order Shield. So you get a nice combo. But either way. The thing is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go refight the bunker, as I mentioned. I'll show you what's the strategy that you can do with it if you're playing zero and you have the boar skill. You can also, like, one or two shot the thing. It's not that hard. Hence why it's a fun boss to farm, because you just get a whole bunch of EXP and a whole bunch of weapons and money. And iridium. That's, like, one of the funnest ways to get iridium. You just walk up, one shot it, leave the map, rinse, repeat. Over and over and over. It's, it takes, like, all of two seconds. But yeah, so I'll redo that. I'll show it on the episode, you know, at the end of this episode so you guys can see what it's like. And then I'll just have to record, you know, back to normal for Borderlands after, you know, this episode. Other than that, guys, if you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Let me know what you think. Sorry about the, you know, the glitch with the recording. I really did not foresee that. I have it fixed now, so it won't be happening again now that I know how to fix it. And yeah, other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Borderlands 2, where we go to Iridium Blight. Well, let me see what level is that for. Oops, wrong one. Let's see what level is that for Iridium Blight. Am I, am I at that level? Because I don't want to go there and then I'm, you know, under-leveled. Because fighting the final boss is going to be, yeah, so I thought. The final boss is coming up. Like he, he, we're not that far from the end of the game. Like there, there's, I think only just one or two bosses left after that, and then that's it. We're there. But oh, isn't that guys? A little, if I can speak English. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you all here next time. And let's play Borderlands 2. I hope you all have a great day, and I will catch you all here next time. Hey there guys, so this will be the post recording version of the bunker fight. So you get to at least see the shenanigans that is bunker as a boss. I don't know if it's going to respawn immediately or if it's just going to be cheeky. Oh, there it is, respawned immediately. So I'm going to see what I could if I can get to my spot that I like to be in. The bunk. There he is. The big boy himself. Throwing the mortars that he likes to throw. See. There was a big reveal. The little thing that was here before. Is actually the thing that's flying around now. That is the bunk. 
There it is. The best bot that money could create. As Jack put it. So he said, oh, you didn't think I would defend Angel with a few flimsy bots and some auto turrets. And thus he created the bunker. Now, if I could see where that damn thing went. There he is. Where the boar stuff becomes really stupid. You can, you can drop all that stuff all you want, buddy. Playing zero, you have the boar skill. It allows you to hit multiple hitboxes at the same time. Okay. The cool thing about that is because the bunker's so large, it has several hitboxes. Molly walk like so. it pretty quickly, right? So, this is pretty much all I was doing while fighting the bunker before. I was just crouching right here in this little corner. I wasn't doing the laser thing before, though, so that's something entirely new. But you can destroy the bunker's auto cannons and the bunker as a whole relatively quickly. The then I did this thing on accident. I ran out of sniper shots. I just did this, and for whatever reason, the bunker just got decimated when I did this. I don't know why, but it's health bar. When I was I, I really wish I could have been making it up. I just hit him like this. With like two shots, he just died. I don't know how. I don't know what it was that I did when I was doing it with this. But yeah, his health bar is obviously dropping a lot faster. I don't know. He's obviously not doing it now. I was hoping it would, but you can honestly one to two shots of bunker. It actually went the bunker on this side when I did it. I think it's because I was aimed down sights for so long with it. where the boar build truly shines a hey. you use something like this you combine the extra damage that you get from aiming down your sights with the boar skill of going through multiple shots or multiple hit points or hit boxes watch let me see if I can one shot this loader boom boom hey those mortars, buddy. They're still dead. There goes the bunker once again. So, yeah. That's all you guys really missed when I was fighting him before. I cheesed it doing that. And, uh, yeah. I honestly might farm it a little bit just to get the iridium. Ooh, a relic. Shotgun max ammo. I'm never gonna use that. Well, well. Ooh. Scalable development, you say? Hmm. Hmm. I can use that. Let's drop that because I'm not going to ever use that. Hmm. Money. Money, money. 
But yeah, that about sums up everything you're going to do here. You could farm this place for, you know, iridium, money. You could blow up the cannons separately if I remember correctly. Like while you're fighting the bunker. Oh yeah, that about sums up everything. Oh hey, wait a minute. You do me a favor and die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. But yeah, so that sums up everything you missed during uh, the bunker fight, boys and girls. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, I took out the auto cannons. There's just eleven of those. And that was that was it. That was it. You missed that. That's it. That's all you missed. So, uh, yeah. Uh, bye.